Hey guys, Tornado with Storm Vibes Radio on behalf of the Conscious Partners Network, bringing you a quick tutorial on tagging your files properly and just showing you just how important this is. Um, the program, uh, come on here. The program that I use along with um, quite a few of the other presenters in the network is MP3 Tag. This is so important. And um, the thing that I wanna stress, because I think Personal, I mean, just my opinion, but I think a lot of the confusion is coming in that just because um, you compose an email, you attach your your name as the artist, the name of the song to the email and hit send, you're under the impression that that file is tagged properly and that's not correct. It doesn't have all of the metadata that the file needs, especially when it's going into um, a server system. And a lot of presenters, DJs, they don't even want to put these files into Tractor, Virtual DJ, Serato, um, Serato, no matter what they're using, it's not worth the time to put it in it because it's going to get lost in oblivion and nine times out of ten depending on who the person is and how busy they are your file may just get um, sent to the famous file 13 and you know not even make it past the email download stage so it's really important and um, speaking on behalf of myself and I'm quite sure for the entire um, entire um, Conscious Partners Network that we really, really hope you get a better understanding after um, this video is all done. And I'll just jump right into it. That way I can try and keep it short and sweet and you don't fall asleep on us, right? Um, metadata. Things like iTunes, Amazon, Discogs, they use this information that comes with your files basically to make sure you get paid properly and get the correct credit, um, credit and acknowledgement, especially if you're registered with something like ASCAP, um, BMI. Um, let's take a look over here, like this station. You see how these little covers are coming into play over here um, of what they have coming up. If these files were not tagged properly, when this station dropped them in, how would these, you know, these followers or whoever's listening right now know who this track went to? And it's that same way for us as presenters. When we receive these files and they aren't tagged properly, we have no idea. Some of them even just come in as track one, track two, you know, and it's after a while, um, of seeing the same repetitive, you know, pattern, it, it gets a little bit frustrating. So let us help you um, to help us, <laughs> basically. So um, let me show you here. Let's see. Let's take this track here. When I drop it into Virtual DJ, you and this is how it came out of email. You see, it has his name here, has the name of the song, and you're thinking that it's tagged properly. Well. Um, Let's go ahead and open up MP3 tag. It's a simple, you know, program. It doesn't have, well, it may appear to have a lot of bells and whistles and look a little bit scary, but let me assure you, these things are, it's really easy to figure out, you know, and um, I can do another tutorial after this that's a little, more, little bit more in depth, or if you have any other questions, you know, just give me a call and I'll be more than happy to help you. And um, I'm quite sure as far as though the other stations are presenters in the network, if they use this and you have questions, I'm quite sure they'd be glad to answer them for you. But um, back to Joel's track here. Remember over here how it showed everything? But now that I'm clicking on it here, you see how all of these are blank. There's no title, there's no artist information, but sending this out, you think that it's tagged properly. No. What you want to do is once you're in MP3 tag, the title of this song, Walking Alone, artist Joel N.R. Powell. This has a uh, hip hop feel to it, so that's what I'm gonna categorize it at. I can only assume that this um, was done in 2015. Um, and I actually discovered this young man on Twitter and happened to click on um, his SoundCloud recording and I liked it and had him to send the track over. So he's getting a little free promo here as well. You wanna be sure to hit save. And do you see how once I hit save, how these fields over here populated? So now this track is in the process of being tr tagged properly. So it's showing, you know, the bit rate, everything over here. Um, 
But these are the most important parts that you want attached to your track when it goes out. I don't know if this is a full album, so I'm going to leave this blank. But I am going to come down here and pop in Joel in Powell as the album. Um, oops. As the album artist. And you can fill all of these in all at once and then, you know, hit save. But that's really important. So now... Um, we know who this who this file goes to, and when I drop this into um, Virtual DJ, or the main thing, when I drop this into my back end server here, and um, if you're listening on TuneIn or if you're on the website, you're gonna know exactly who this artist is, the album cover that goes with it, um, and there's just no question about it. Um, like on the site over here where I showed you how it's showing these covers here. If someone wanted to click on this, they're registered and see the, how the little buy button comes up. The correct person is going to get paid for this. The same way over here in the back end. If someone were listening to this and tune in and, um, you know, it's registered with, um, ASCAP, BMI, different things like that. You know, you want to get paid as an artist. So making sure your things are tagged properly is very important. And now you see this little square here. This is for the, the cover art. So the track came over. I went to, um, Google to search for his cover art before I started this. So let's just show you how easy it is to attach that. Oops. There he is. Save. Now, when I drop him into my server back over here, it's going to come up just like those. And it's just that simple to make sure your things are tagged. And you may be kind of scratching your head saying, well, Tora, I have an entire library, you know, of songs that need done like this. Or, you know, you have a full album that you want to do at one time. So let's just say all of these in this list here, just say all of these were um, Joel's files. I'm just going to come down here. Or you can even come up here and just click select all. Just that simple. You know, it's like I said, you can kind of look through, kind of figure things out um, and see how even over here it has the Amazon, the cover art, you know, and it, um, sometimes it will even search Amazon and pull this information in for you that you're looking for, especially if you're tagging other people's tracks and you want to get the information on it. Um, and you aren't able to get it from them in time, but, um, oh, okay. So if we wanted to do all of these here at one time and just say, jaw, jaw lives was the name of it. Uh, we'll typo there and just say, uh, Ross boom one was the artist that did all of those tunes there. And I click save and you see how it populated all of those. So I didn't have to go through and click one by one over here doing it. So you can tag multiple files um, at one time. And I'm just going to undo that before I end up leaving all of those name that. And um, like I said, large categories of files don't, um, you can do the same thing because I have quite um, an extensive library like my, um, Morgan Heritage file here. Just say if I wanted to open this up and some of these I still need to go through and um, and tag, but I could take this entire category right here, select them all that I want and I could change just by typing it in over here. Um, if I wanted to change all of these from more teachings, if I wanted to change all of these title names to um, more love, and if I typed it in and hit save, it's going to change all of those at one time. So don't let the size of your library or, you know, whatever it is that you're working on um, intimidate you and think that it's, it's time consuming. Because again, in the long run, it helps you as an artist. It helps us as presenters to make sure you're getting the proper credit that's due. So again, it's a free download, MP3 tag. And if you have any questions, reach out to myself and um, I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, if it's something that's a little bit more detailed and you may say, hey, 
I don't have time to do all of this. We may be able to work out, you know, something on that end also, but you know, at least you know what's out there and we've given you the information. So um, I hope the next time we receive some tunes from you and we drop them into here or we drop them off into virtual DJ, Serato or whatever, that they're tagged properly and you found value in this little tutorial and you're ready to go and click download and get started on tagging your files. All right, till next time, peace, love, and keep it iry.